Welcome back today, we're diving into the world of wheat pennies and uncovering the top 8 most valuable rare wheat penny 1 cent coins in today's market. If you're a coin collector or just intrigued by rare finds, you're in for a treat. Let's get started first up. The 1916 wheat penny without a mint mark, in extra fine condition. If you're into coin collecting or just curious about valuable pieces of American history, you're in for a treat. The 1916 Wheat Penny is a significant coin for collectors due to its historical context and the rarity of its high-grade examples. Struck at the Philadelphia Mint, this penny features the iconic wheat ears, reverse, and Abraham Lincoln's profile on the obverse. But why is the 1916 without a mint mark so special? The 1916 Wheat Penny was produced during a time of significant change in the United States. The country was on the brink of entering World War I, and the coin's design reflected a sense of continuity and tradition amid these turbulent times. What makes the 1916 wheat penny truly valuable, especially in extra fine condition, is its scarcity and the quality of its preservation. In numismatics, extra fine means the coin has retained much of its original detail with only minimal wear. For the 1916, this means that the wheat stalks on the reverse are still distinct, and Lincoln's features are well defined. Historically, the 1916 wheat penny is not as rare as some other years, but when it comes to extra fine examples, the value skyrockets. As of today, you can expect to see these pennies valued anywhere from $900,000, depending on the exact quality and any unique characteristics of the coin. The 1916 wheat penny in extra fine condition is particularly sought after because it's a great representation of early 20th century US. Coinage. Collectors prize it for its crisp details and historical significance. High-grade examples are a rare find, which is why they command such a premium. If you happen to find a 1916 wheat penny in your collection or while coin hunting, be sure to have it evaluated by a professional. Its value can be substantial, and it's always exciting to uncover a piece of history that's worth a pretty penny. Next up, we'll explore why this coin, in its unique color-shade condition, is so valuable in today's market. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare finds, make sure to stick around. The 1940 Wheat Penny, officially known as the Lincoln Cent, is a beloved piece among collectors. The coin was produced in significant numbers, making it relatively common compared to some other dates. However, when you add certain rare attributes, like its condition and color shade, things get a lot more interesting. The 1940 Wheat Penny stand out. The coin is known for its classic design featuring Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two stalks of wheat on the reverse. But in the world of coin collecting, it's not just the design that matters condition and unique characteristics play a huge role in its value. Now, we're specifically looking at the 1940 wheat penny without a mint mark in a rare color shade condition. The color shade here refers to the coin's patina and hue, which can range from red to brown, or even a deep, rich copper tone. These color variations are not just aesthetic, they can significantly impact the coin's value. In particular, a 1940 wheat penny with a striking red color is considered the most valuable. This is due to the coin's rarity in such pristine color conditions. The red shade typically indicates that the coin has been well preserved, which is a significant factor in its value. Coins with red hues are often more sought after because they showcase the original, unblemished appearance of the coin. In terms of market value, a 1940 wheat penny in excellent red condition can fetch a substantial amount. Prices can vary based on factors such as the coin's exact color shade, overall preservation, and demand in the collector market. As of today, you might find that a well-preserved 1940 wheat penny in a desirable color shade can be worth anywhere from $500,000. For collectors, the value of these pennies also depends on their grade. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, with higher grades commanding higher prices. A 1940 wheat penny in an uncirculated or near mint condition with a vibrant color shade is particularly valuable. The appeal of the 1940 wheat penny goes beyond its monetary value. It's a piece of history that captures a moment in time during the late 1930s and early 1940s when the country was experiencing significant change. Collectors value these coins not just for their rarity but also for their historical significance. If you're a collector or just starting out, Understanding the factors that influence a coin's value can help you make informed decisions. The 1940 wheat penny, especially in a rare color shade, is a prime example of how unique characteristics can turn a common coin into a highly prized collectible. Next up, the 1944 without mint mark in red color shade condition if you're a coin collector or just curious about rare coins. This video is for you. 
Before we get into the specifics of the 1944 wheat penny, let's briefly review what makes these coins so special. The wheat penny, officially known as the Lincoln penny, was first minted in 1909 and features the iconic image of Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two ears of wheat on the reverse. These coins are highly sought after by collectors due to their historical significance and unique design. Now, let's focus on the 1944 wheat penny. This coin is particularly interesting because it was minted during World War II, a time when the US was facing significant economic challenges. The 1944 wheat penny is notable for its transition from steel to copper as the mint returned to copper for the production of pennies after using steel for the 1943 issue due to wartime metal shortages. When we talk about the red color shade condition, we're referring to a coin that has retained its original, vibrant red color over the years. Coins in this condition are often referred to as red or red uncirculated. The red color is a result of minimal exposure to air and handling, which preserves the original copper luster. This condition is highly prized among collectors because it signifies that the coin is in pristine, nearly mint condition. So, what makes the 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark in red color shade so valuable? The value of this coin can vary greatly depending on several factors, including its exact condition, rarity, and demand among collectors. In general, a 1944 wheat penny in red color shade condition is worth significantly more than its face value. As of the latest market data, a 1944 wheat penny in red color shade condition can fetch anywhere from $700,300. If you own a 1944 wheat penny or are considering purchasing one, it's essential to have it professionally graded to determine its true value. Keep the coin in a protective holder to prevent damage and preserve its condition. Proper storage in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight will help maintain the coin's red color shade. In summary, the 1944 Wheat Penny, without a mint mark in red color shade condition, is a highly valuable coin due to its historical context, rarity, and collector demand. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer to the hobby, this coin represents a fascinating piece of American numismatic history. Next up, the 1941 Wheat Penny with a D-mint mark in extra fine condition. If you're passionate about coin collecting, you won't want to miss this detailed look at why this particular penny is making waves in today's market. The 1941 Wheat Penny, also known as the Lincoln Penny, is an iconic piece of American numismatic history. Struck during World War II, this penny is notable not only for its historical significance, but also for its impressive value, particularly when it comes to the D-Mint Mark variety. But what makes this penny so special, and why is it worth so much today? The 1941 Wheat Penny was minted in three locations Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. The D-Mint mark signifies that this particular penny was produced at the Denver Mint. While all 1941 Wheat Pennies are valuable to collectors, those with the D-Mint mark are particularly sought after. Now, let's talk about the condition. The term extra fine or extra fine refers to a coin that shows some signs of wear but is still in excellent condition. For a 1941 Wheat Penny, an extra fine coin will have clear, well-defined details and minimal wear on the high points, like Lincoln's hair and the wheat ears on the reverse. In extra fine condition, the 1941 D Wheat Penny is quite desirable. The rarity of finding one in such great condition significantly boosts its value. In fact, collectors and investors alike are willing to pay a premium for this coin, especially if it's well-preserved. So what can you expect to pay for a 1941 Wheat Penny with a D Mint mark in extra fine condition today? Based on recent market trends and auction results, prices for these coins can range quite a bit. On average, you might see them selling for anywhere between $700,000. However, pristine examples or those with exceptional eye appeal can command even higher prices, potentially reaching upwards of $800,000 or more. It's worth noting that the value of these coins can fluctuate based on demand, market trends, and the overall condition of the coin. Therefore, if you come across a 1941 wheat penny with a D-mint mark in extra fine condition, you might want to consider holding onto it or getting it appraised to understand its true market value. If you're a collector or thinking of investing in rare coins, remember that condition is key. Ensure your coins are properly stored and handled to maintain their value. Also, always buy from reputable dealers and consider having your coins graded by a professional service to get an accurate assessment of their condition. Next up, the 1957 D Wheat Penny in uncirculated condition. 
If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare finds, stick around as we uncover why this particular penny commands a big value in today's market. Before we zero in on the 1957D, let's take a quick trip down memory lane. The wheat penny, officially known as the Lincoln Wheat Cent, was produced by the US. Mint from 1909 to 1958, its design, featuring the iconic wheat stalks on the reverse side, was created by Victor David Brenner. This design was meant to honor Abraham Lincoln, whose image graced the obverse. The 1957D is the final year of the Wheat Penny series. By this time, the coin had seen numerous design changes and had witnessed significant historical events. It was produced at the Denver Mint, which is why it carries the D-Mint mark. So, what makes the 1957D Wheat Penny so special? Well, first, let's look at its features. The 1957D Wheat Penny is made of 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc. The coin weighs 2.5 grams and has a diameter of 19 millimeters. Its obverse displays a right-facing portrait of Abraham Lincoln, and the reverse shows two stalks of wheat framing the words one cent. The term uncirculated is key here. An uncirculated coin is one that has never been used in everyday transactions. It retains its original mint luster and shows no signs of wear. For the 1957D, an uncirculated coin will have sharp details, a full wheat stalk, and a bright, shiny surface. To identify an uncirculated 1957D, look for coins that have been well-preserved without any scratches or tarnish. The luster should be intact, and the coin should exhibit a crisp, clean appearance. Now, let's talk about value. The 1957D wheat penny in uncirculated condition is quite valuable. As of today, such coins can fetch anywhere from $400,000. If you're lucky enough to have an uncirculated 1957D wheat penny, proper care and storage are essential to maintaining its value. Store your coin in a protective holder, such as a capsule or a coin flip, to prevent exposure to air and contaminants. Keep it in a cool, dry place, away from direct sunlight. Handling it minimally and with clean hands will also help preserve its pristine condition. And there you have it a closer look at the valuable 1957D wheat penny in uncirculated condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, understanding the value of such coins adds a new dimension to your collection. Next up the 1951 cent coin without a mint mark in a stunning red color shade. We'll explore its history, unique characteristics, and why it's commanding impressive values in today's market. The wheat penny, officially known as the Lincoln wheat cent, was produced by the United States Mint from 1909 to 1958. Featuring Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two ears of wheat on the reverse, this coin is a significant piece of American numismatic history. It was replaced by the Lincoln Memorial design in 1959, making these coins particularly collectible. Among the series, the 1950 wheat penny without a mint mark stands out. Unlike some years which feature mint marks indicating their place of production, such as D for Denver or S for San Francisco, the 1950 penny with no mint mark was struck in Philadelphia. Despite its lack of distinctive mint marks, this coin is highly sought after, especially in pristine red color shade condition. What sets the 1950 wheat penny apart is its color. Coins in red color shade condition have retained their original mint luster and vibrant hue which is rare for pennies that have been circulating for decades. This red color is indicative of minimal to no oxidation or toning, making these coins visually striking and highly collectible. So what makes this coin so valuable today? The 1950 wheat penny, without a mint mark in red color shade condition, has seen a significant increase in value. As of now, examples in red color shade can command impressive prices. Depending on their grade, these coins can fetch anywhere from $600,000. Several factors influence the value of the 1950 wheat penny. The coin's condition is paramount those in the red color shade are valued more highly due to their exceptional preservation. The rarity of the coin and demand among collectors also play crucial roles. Additionally, coins that have been professionally graded and certified tend to command higher prices, interested in finding your own 1950 wheat penny in red color shade condition start by checking through collections or rolls of pennies when you find a potential candidate ensure it is stored properly to maintain its condition use protective holders and avoid handling the coin directly to preserve its red hue that wraps up our detailed look at the valuable 1950 wheat penny without a mint mark in red color shade condition whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out 
this coin is a fascinating piece of numismatic history with considerable value. Next up the 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark, especially in its color shade condition. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare finds, you're in for a treat. Here it is the 1944 wheat penny. This coin is part of the iconic wheat penny series that ran from 1909 to 1958. Known for its classic design, featuring Abraham Lincoln on the obverse and two ears of wheat on the reverse, the 1944 wheat penny holds a special place in the world of numismatics. The 1944 wheat penny was minted during the final year of World War II, the US. Mint was transitioning from wartime to peacetime production, and copper pennies were back in production after a period of using zinc-coated steel due to wartime metal shortages. One of the interesting aspects of the 1944 wheat penny is that it was produced in large quantities. However, what sets this particular coin apart is its color shade condition, which can significantly affect its value. In the world of coin collecting, condition is crucial. The term color shade condition refers to the appearance of the coin's patina or surface color, which can range from red to brown to dark brown. Coins in higher grades, particularly those with vibrant red hues, are the most sought after. For a 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark in color shade condition, we're specifically looking at coins that exhibit exceptional visual appeal. The rarest and most valuable examples are those that maintain a rich, original red color. As the coin ages, it can naturally tone down to a brownish shade, which also adds character but might reduce the value compared to its red counterparts. So, what does all this mean in terms of value? As of today, a 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark in excellent color shade condition can command significant prices on the market. For coins in pristine, uncirculated condition with vibrant red hues, prices can range from $900,000 or more, depending on the exact grade and appearance. Those that show signs of a well-preserved color but are not in mint condition can still fetch between $200,000. The price can vary widely based on the specific coin's attributes, including its overall eye appeal and any unique characteristics. Collectors are always on the lookout for pennies with exceptional color, as these often become key pieces in their collections. Here's a closer look at this beautiful coin. Notice the details in the wheat ears and the Lincoln portrait. These are crucial for determining its overall condition and value. That's it for today's deep dive into the 1944 wheat penny without a mint mark in color shade condition. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more content on rare coins and their fascinating stories. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific coin you'd like us to explore next. Thanks for watching and happy collecting.